so very bad. I sent it to her. Okay. So Hi, true star. So Hi. Hi. Gold and groovy. I told y'all my favorite color was gold. And I was like, I'm gonna be out of the box. I'm not gonna go for the traditional prom look with the flood and pants and the tight bow tie, the button down. I said, let's take it back. Take it back in time. What's up, y'all? It's Danny. Welcome back to Danny on the Block. And um, today, I'm actually going to be meeting with my prom designer because I go on prom this year in May. So today we're gonna be going to the fabric store actually to pick out my fabric for my outfit that he's going to make for me. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys on a little behind the scenes journey for that. I'm actually really excited because I do the most when it comes to dressing up. Oh, I think I was supposed to hit a U-turn. I'm gonna hit one up here. But um, yeah, I do the most when it's time to like dress up and stuff. So I'm actually excited to see how this is gonna go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, very excited. Um, okay guys, so I actually made it here. Um, so I'm still waiting on him to get here. He should be here in a few minutes actually. And then we're gonna look around and pick out what we think. I want to wear burgundy and cream. So yeah, we'll see. And I kind of want like this velvet fabric kind of. This is nice, this right here. So guys, um, he actually just got here and we just discussed like my whole prom situation. So I'm trying to shoot for like this retro Studio 54-ish type vibe with my outfit. I want to go real old school, but I want to be something like, I want to be like, yeah, out there. I don't want this to be normal. So yeah, we're going to discuss some more stuff, find some fabrics and we'll be good. What's up y'all, Danny on the block. We're back here at my prom consultation, I guess you can say prom fitting. We're just trying on some of the stuff from Alante's collection and seeing what type of silhouette we want as far as prom. I want to be different outside the box. Nothing original, no traditional prom stuff going on here. So I think I'm going to go for like this bell bottom 70s retro look, but making it modern and schmancy. Just dandy, like just out there. Um, so trying on some stuff, seeing how we're going to look material wise i think this would be good for like some pants for my pants i think i'm gonna go with this i just want to know how okay. i did it okay I think people don't realize when you are uh, uh, up to par, uh, up to par boy, I'm just going to say how it is. When you are up to par boy like myself, it takes a lot to look this good, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm serious. Like we go through a lot too. I know girls might sit in the nail shops for two hours, but I did too. Feet and nails. I mean, hair just like them. I take this stuff very seriously. So when it comes to what I had to do, I made sure I did it. I mean, I took my everything shower for at least two hours. I, um, I had to get my suit steamed. Um, what? I was trying to fix my face up just like they be trying to. It's a process when you're an up to par boy. If you if you basic, if you average, stay away from me. But if you up to par, let's be up to par. Yeah, I didn't look good on you. Yeah. Like it looked good so what on you. So what you but the, the layout was so on the long. Mm -hmm. The long and crop as far as the length of the jacket was. Super long with the crop set. Um so like the crop underneath with the long jacket yeah. with the crop. Yeah. Um, what about the pants? Like what's what you thinking or is it this like which jacket silhouette you like? It was like I'm aiming for that. So I'm definitely like aiming for that crop. Crop. 
and I wouldn't mind the long jacket going over top because I can take it off. Yeah, right. It's part of this is right. Okay, so what we did work. Let's go. Let's go to the And then it's really deciding to choose. Now the fact that you're doing this and you go with that that bro, that go and that then that layout, you need a step one. Yeah, yeah. Some other boots. He that's for you. Show him. No, no, no. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, because your um, what you call yeah, it's a different, uh, like even like this, like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. You can still do a with this one, it's not the same company, which is an all men's wear um, heel company, uh -huh. yeah. So they make heels specifically for men, so, so it can run a big size, right. And fit the foot. And fit the foot. Yeah. Wow. Because we got wide. And that's why they most famous. That one is the wide. Right. It's yeah. really tight, but you can swing it on. Oh, that's the nice. Wow. Uh, yeah, it is, but they, but that one, it runs. Is it my sock? Or is it just the structure of the boot? No, it's going to keep the sock. He is. He's going to keep the sock. He's going to probably take out the sock. It's going to be easy. It's very rich and regal. It's like, it'll still kind of go with yeah. your color choices. That but way, if we did a beige under top or that kind of yeah. green, it will complement it. It will complement it. I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what I'm I haven't seen this. I think it's always like a difference between like what you want to do versus like how long it's going to take to actually do it. You won't know until it actually happens. But the the day of prom was pretty hectic. I, w I was there helping with everything. Shout out to all my aunties that came off the block and into the crib to help me with everything. All my aunties, Auntie Erica, Auntie Teresa, Auntie Lalita, Auntie Sean. Like, the aunties was on lock for the decorations. They had it all going on. I had to help with a lot of it, but they had it all going on. Oh my God, we made those. Like, DIY. We bought a whole bunch of blank CDs and we, we put Mod Podge on them and poured a whole bunch of gold glitter. They got labels cut out, put it on the box. It was like my own little record on top of the gift box with my favorite snacks, the honey buns, popcorn, all types of stuff. It was a moment. It was definitely a moment. Crazy because that wasn't even my initial car. I was supposed to either have like a Porsche or something else, but my auntie got into contact with this classic car company. Shout out to Haggerty. Man, classic car is down. But I had a, I forgot, I think it was like a 1970 uh, Lincoln Continental. Bad, bad. Went badder with my cane. What came up? Something came up. I think I didn't have no socks. I don't know if I didn't have no socks, if I didn't have no drawers, I, something I didn't have. I didn't have something that was, oh, my hair. Oh my God. My hair, my hair was done, but we put clear, clear elastic rubber bands to hold my hair together. Mind you, elastic is very like breakable. So the clear rubber bands, we had to double them up like five times to keep my hair intact and not everywhere. And 30 minutes before prom, I was in the shower. I felt everything come loose. Pop, 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 pop. All the clear rubber bands just sticking out my hair. I'm like, 
what am I about to do? Like locks started falling, like it was crazy. So I had to run to the store, grab like gold bobby pins or something to match my hair and like gold accessories. We didn't end up putting the gold accessories in my hair, but the gold bobby pins definitely kept everything in tack. So that was scary. The cane, such a last minute idea, but such a perfect touch to the outfit. I mean, back then they had canes and then if you notice like, it definitely fit the aesthetic of the gold and groovy. It, it was nice, it was a nice touch. I, I tipped with that cane all night. I was just tipping. The moment I walked out that door, I was like, wait a minute. Cause I know I sent out invites, but I ain't sent out all them invites. Like it was pretty heavy in there. You can see from my face. I was like, I was just really shocked. Like the amount of people that were there and just like, the screaming and like the ah, ah, ah. I looked good, I felt real good, it felt real good. Guys, this is it. This is the end. Prom, graduation, all of it. I had a, a, a very fun time on the block, off the block, at the corner, off the corner, down the street, back up the street. But honestly, through it all, it's really a full circle moment. I mean, I've lost a lot this year, gained a lot this year. And like I said, one thing I can really tell y'all is to be yourself. And I say this often, not a lot, but don't ever change anything about yourself to try to satisfy someone else. It ain't gonna be the same. Be true to who you are and live in the moment. That's a wrap. Check. Oh, I am having too much fun at this here prom. Do you hear me? I'm over here sweating bullets on the floor, everywhere I should be. I'm there, man.